All right, we're gonna do it once more. Uh, uh, and this time, no mistakes. One, two, three, four. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning. Good morning to you. When the band began to play, the stars were shining bright. But now the milkman's on his way. It's too late to say good night. So say good morning. Ah, good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning to you. Nothing could be grander than to be in Louisiana in the morning. In the mo. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were still going. Okay, Stewie. Time for Daddy to mow this very rocky backyard. So I'll just put you in this baby seat you've grown out of, right where the rocks are gonna fly. Wait, what? <laughs> Hang on. Stop. Ah! Oh, there we go. Yeah! Oh, that's a lot of rocks. Up, the bowls are back. You can tell from all the very many rocks. Look at them fly. Still think moving was such a bad idea? I don't know. Do we still live with your mother? All right, Peter, the most important thing when you're on a diet is willpower. Now, I'm going to put this steaming pie on the windowsill to cool. Now, no matter how many beckoning fingers that steam morphs into or how badly it tries to sneak its way up your nose, I want you to resist the urge to levitate off the ground and float towards the pie. Doesn't seem too hard. All right, go stand over there. Ha <laughs> no, you don't. No, no, you can't go in there. No, no, stay out of there. That's my special area. Ah, ah! Ah, no! Stop! I'm saying no! Ah, what kind of pie is this? Peter, it's making me watch. Okay, Peter, this is it. Hey, who are you? Just act natural, and even though you're Mike, try not to use your radio voice. Hey, Providence! This is Peter Whirly Bird Griffin coming at you on a sizzling Sunday afternoon. Peter, no! Wait a minute. You're the new Don from Quahog. Follow me. We're glad that you finally decided to play ball with us. Let me introduce you to the other Dons. Don Duck. Don Ki Kong. Don Amnesia. Forget about it. Don Amatapia. Bang. The Land Don Under. You come to me today on the Diamond Daughter's Barbecue. Don Imus? The Rutgers basketball team is black and disgusting. That's a wrap for Don Imus. Finally, the scariest Don of them all. Don, de Don, Don. Thank you. I'd like to introduce you all to my suspenseful son. Don, Don, Don! Sorry I put you in a dress, Stewie. We needed a damsel. Hey, do I look upset? What do we got today? Looks like a Donkey Kong house. Ah, what a mess. Want a beer? Yes, sir. Is that a Yeti? It is. You mind if I talk about it for 45 minutes? Oh, I know I can't stop you. Barrel! 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 What is all this noise? I'm trying to buy everything on Amazon in here. Barrel! Ah! My foot! Oh, I think it's broken! Uh-oh! Next level! Eh-eh. Eh-eh. Well, Meg has the mumps all right. How is it she was never immunized? Well, it was 1992, and I couldn't be bothered with anything that didn't involve Dan Cortez. Besides, what's a big deal? I never got a mumps shot. Really? Well, I'd caution you that getting the mumps as an adult could result in serious complications. In some cases, the symptoms could spread to the testicular glands. Big deal, so I'll wear socks. Mr. Griffin, your testicles are not in your feet. Well, where are they? Under your penis. Are you kidding? I always thought those were two little sandbags to keep floodwaters from floating into my bum. <laughs> no, no, I'm just poking at your funny bone. I am quite alarmed. I don't think you realize the danger. Like the people who think it's okay to bring shampoo on an airplane. So I told Brenda, I work hard, I like a clean house when I come home. And now I'm... Peter, what do I do? Tell him about your dream. What? They can't understand me. Doesn't matter. It's all tone and body language. Trust me, they'll know they don't want to be there. Uh, well, uh, it's interesting you should say that, because I did have a particularly weird dream last night. Tell them how you were in our house, but it was somehow different than our regular house. 
Well, we were in our house, except the laundry machine was in our kitchen, if you can believe it. And it wasn't like a normal laundry machine. It was more like our refrigerator. Yeah, run with that. Oh, and Bonnie's brother was there, too, for some reason, which is totally random, because I haven't seen him in, like, oh, my God, seven years? But, you know, I did see a Facebook post of him from, like, a month ago, so maybe that had something to do with it. Let's just go. No, I want to hear how this ends, then tell her my dream. Anyway, I was doing the wash, and smoke was coming out the machine, but it was more like a fog than a smoke. Lois! <laughs> Thanks for saving my life. Well, it was kind of my fault you were there in the first place. I hope you can forgive me. I always wanted a big sister. How dumb do you have to be to walk into a gorilla pit, eh, Brian? Brian? How do you know what's inside you unless you test yourself? Don't do one push-up. Do 100. Don't run one mile. Run a marathon. Don't have one family. Have a second family all the way across the country. Don't just have a second family. Have a third family in Santa Fe with an alternative lifestyle. Don't spend any time with the first two families. Make a commitment to family number three and double down by announcing it at his war hero father's retirement party. Don't go to the funeral. Because remember, you got two other families to deal with and a marathon to train for. Don't just let Kenneth walk out of your life. Take his life from him. Don't just go to jail. Go to death row by killing the two other families. Don't just let anyone have their closure by apologizing. Send a message that you're not afraid of hell. <laughs> Nike. You may not know this, but our full name is Nikel. All I'm saying is that you just need to find an activity that you and Stewie can share. Oh, Peter, can you reach that box of rice? Ow! Oh, sorry, Lois. <laughs> oh, 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 that rice got you, bitch. <laughs> hey, Stewie's laughing. Hey, you think that's funny? Hey, you like that? Hey, hey, Lois, you want some beans with that rice? Ow! <laughs> oh, oh, I misjudged you, fat man. Damn it! Peter, what's wrong with you? Wait, 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 Lois, Lois, don't move. Stewie's loving this. <laughs> oh, see if she's got any cash on her. <laughs> okay, Stewie, get the camera ready. What do you think I'm doing? I'm bonding with Stewie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there is nothing more precious than a baby's laughter. <laughs> Jeez, I hope she can get out. No, I'm sure she'll be fine. May I join the Losers Club? I don't care what yearbook captions you saw. We are not yet an organized club. <gasps> oh, hells yeah! There's only one reason the lunch lady puts the gray oven mitt back on. Second tray of French bread pizza coming out! Gotta move quick if you want to get the one with two pepperonis. Uh, oh, oh, hey. <laughs> I'll have you know I'm a stofer. Where you at, pepperonis? Aha! I hope your affairs are in order. Honey? The deed to the house is in the drawer under the phone. <laughs> Meg, what you did back there boxing out those students was quite impressive. Really? 
Have you ever considered trying out for the girls' basketball team? I've just taken the job as head coach in an attempt to build character for my upcoming divorce hearing. I thought you were already divorced. I was. I'm getting divorced again. Turns out the first bitch might have been right about my misogyny. As I recall, it was every potential man for himself. had reached the target objective thanks to the peerless intrepidity I developed at testicular boot camp. But it was a trap! I was imprisoned in that uterine gulag for nine grueling months. Day 171, I've sprouted another finger. Counting the one from yesterday, I'm up to 11. As the months of solitude passed, I began to go insane. It seemed my prison cell was getting smaller and smaller. I was quite sure that soon I would be dead. But then, a miracle. There was a light at the end of the tunnel. I rushed to freedom, but suddenly I was ambushed by a mysterious man in white. One more push, Lois. This is quite a miracle, Mr. Griffin. Would you like to have a look? Yeah, you know, I've never actually seen a live baby being... Oh, God! Congratulations, Mrs. Griffin. It's a boy. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think we're through here. Oh, my God. Is it twins? No, it's a, a map of Europe. All right, everyone, I'd like to get started. I, I, I'd, I'd like to get, it's what we're stuck. Uh, you, know, you know what, maybe, maybe everyone should sit down. Okay, that's better. Welcome everybody to the first. Uh, uh, snacks are, uh, best saved for later. Okay, now I've prepared an agenda for our organization. What we want from the community as fat people with pride. <coughs> <coughs> All right, I think we got a lot accomplished here today. Uh, we'll pick this up again tomorrow. Hey, Stewie, what are you watching? The most glorious website of all time, YouTube. I only hope the site doesn't run out of content for me to watch. You know, you should really be careful on YouTube, Stewie. You never know what's going to pop up next. I mean, there's some wild stuff out there. Okay, Boomer. I'm not a Boomer, I'm Gen X. Brian, you save back issues of Costco magazine. Uh, it's called the Costco Connection, and it's how I get good deals on cruises. Yeah, you're not helping yourself here. Let's see. Suggested videos for you. Joe Rogan interviews Boss Baby. Good Night Moon. Fact or hoax? Whoa, listen to this one, Rupert. The truth about naps. I hate naps, and I love the truth. On March 7th, 1999, a resistance took place at Treehouse Daycare in Atlanta, Georgia, that would expose the truth about nap time forever. Harold Harry Brockmeyer, age three, refused to nap. He was not tired as he had slept 16 hours the previous evening. In fact, after lunch, he made a finger painting that, to this day, still hangs on his parents' refrigerator. Well, holy The fact is, naps only exist for the oppression of young children and as a scam to give parents time to themselves. Could it be true? Oh, I must get to the bottom of this like a hard-nosed police detective. Jenkins, I'm taking you off this murder. You're too close to the case. Okay, but... What if I could get further away from the case? What do you mean? What if I could, like, not care who killed that family? Oh, well, then you could stay on the case, obviously. As long as you don't care. Care about what? The ca- oh, Nice. <laughs> get back to work. Peter, don't. They say if you watch that video, you die. Ah, that's a lot of baloney.
Lois, what's going on here? Oh, it's my book club, Peter. Come, join us. Oh, okay. You shall battle to the death, and the winner will be given his freedom. Why are you looking at me like that? Peter, would you like a glass of... Oh, my God! I told you not to play God with those ants! Hello? Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, you're not gonna believe this. I'm over here with Joe, and he's got a space alien. <laughs> Okay, that is the last time you are gonna pull that crap. Ah! You hear me? Yes! Do you hear me? Ah! Yes! Ah! Ah! Now you are gonna hold down that football until Charlie Brown kicks it. You got that? <laughs> yes! Now go ahead, Charlie. <laughs> Yay! And you know what else? I did some checking around. You're not a licensed therapist. Ah! Roadhouse. I say, Brian, this backpack feels a bit lighter than it did before. Well, I wasn't going to tell you till later, but I actually used part of my portion to take care of some personal business. All right, fine. Uh, excuse me, fella. Yeah? What do you want, shrimp? Oh, just a few moments of your time. Hang on. Get this little guy assembled. So, where are you from? Noob report. What's it to you? Oh, I'm just always interested in where people are from. Everybody's got a story, that's what I believe. All right, I think we're all set here. <laughs> wow. Never seen that happen before. What the devil happened here? I've assembled that rifle a million times. Well, I don't know if it's just the rifle. What are you talking about? I think you're going soft. I mean, when was the last time you tried to blow something up or take over the world or, or even use the phrase, damn you? Hey, I got a lot on my plate, man. I'm learning to use the toilet. I'm learning what shapes are. I, I spent half an hour laughing at my own feet yesterday. Yeah, you're, you're losing it, man. You're losing your edge. Well, I don't care for your tone, and I'd say you deserve a good kick of... <laughs> look, Brian, look at them. Nobody took care of me when I lost my arms and legs and was struck blind, deaf, and dumb! Hey, hey Meg, they got a Happy Day spoof in here, but they call it Crappy Days. <laughs> uh, Alright, you know what, if you're not gonna laugh, then I'm not gonna keep you company. Uh, Peter, I think we forgot Meg. Meg, what happened to you? She can't answer you. She can't even talk. Ever since she started smoking pot, she just kind of lays there. It's really sad. None of us could breathe. The twisted and mangled body we had come to see was far more disgusting than any of us could ever have imagined. He's nasty. Meg-chan, push to the side of your father's not just the stairs. Meg has spent two days pinned under a roof beam. Let's just focus on the stairs, Brian. I want you to destroy me. Okay. Okay. Ah, what happened to your eye? Don't worry about it, just put the lens in! But where do I put it? The pupil's gone, your eye just looks like a ping-pong ball! I think it rolled up into my head! Look, just, just do the other one! Ah! You look like one of those blind jazz guys! Where are you? I can't see anything! Ah! 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 I don't like this, just wear your stupid glasses! Chris, I'm blind! I'm sorry, Meg! <laughs> Meg, where are you? I'm right here, Mom. Hmm, this is most curious. It appears she was killed by our old nemesis, the Scottish Brute. 
That's impossible. He's in prison. I put him there myself one year ago. Nevertheless, we can't ignore the evidence. All his victims were prostitutes whose names began with the letter V. This one's name is Veronica, as evidenced by this satin softball jacket that bears her name. These threads are from a Scotsman's plaid kilt. The telltale locks of red hair. But most significantly, the Scottish brute replaced his victim's intestines with bagpipes. <coughs> Want to give it a whirl? How could he accomplish this murder from prison? He couldn't. There are only two possible explanations. Either there's a murderer who has copied the Scottish Brute's methods, or I put the wrong man away. Boy, oh boy, is it Friday yet? Tomorrow. And actually, in Tasmania, it's already Friday. I thought you'd be more fun. Griffin, you'll be very happy to know I've finished conducting my employee productivity evaluations. I used a system called the Determining Employee Advancement, Duties, Work Engagement, Intelligence Gains Hourly Test, or Deadweight. And my results show you to be the brewery's least productive employee. So, pack your bags. I'm fired? No. You're going on a business trip with me as my assistant, since you won't be missed at the office. We're meeting with our New Jersey distributor in Atlantic City. Everyone, I'll be away on business for a few days, starting tomorrow, so we're bringing in a substitute boss. I hope he's a hard ass. But what if he's wearing jeans? Hey guys, my first name is Dan, which is what you'll all call me. Now, who wants to watch Ratatouille? <laughs> Sorry, that guy over there tripped me. Mr. Edwards, the guidance counselor? Yeah, the bullying in this school has gotten a little out of hand. You must be Heather, the new girl. How'd you know I was new? I'm Quahog's number three realtor. I really wanted to sell that house to your folks, but you're in great hands with Gil. What's this? Principal Shepard is directing an adaptation of Baz Luhrmann's William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. The local Ruth's Chris Steakhouse is sponsoring it. I'm playing Juliet. Wow, you're Juliet in Ruth's Chris's Principal Shepherd's Baz Luhrmann's William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? Yes, it's great, but we're auditioning for a new Romeo. The parents of the boy we cast said he needed emergency conversion therapy. Anyway, nice to meet you, Chris. I have to be in that play. Nice hat, dork. That's not nice, Mrs. Danham in the elderly school nurse. It's you, Brian. Right at home with us dumb guys. You're blending in better than a centipede among millipedes. Well, what should we do today? Let's try on a thousand shoes. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, th
Hey, just out of curiosity, what breed are you? Actually, I'm a pussy hound. Really? All right. That just means I'm one sixteenth cat. Oh, I wish you hadn't told me that. Hey, guys, I want you to meet our new dog, Vinny. Vinny, this is Joe and Quagmire. Hey, Vinny. How you doing? Real good. What can I get you, gentlemen? Hey, Jerome, just another round of beers. You got it. You guys let a handle your drink? Well, should we say prayers first? <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? What a bunch of losers. Oh, sometimes I like the kind of trash we are. So, how did everyone sleep? Fine. Good. Not good. I heard Meg having a onesome. Oh, I had the most random dream. Peter, you were there. Uh-huh. We were at home, except in my dream. Oh, Brian, wait, you gotta hear this. Our house looked like Grandma's house, and for some reason I was in my underwear shaking a big bag of kibble. Meg, you spilled Doritos on the carpet, and I was trying to vacuum them up, but the vacuum had hair all over it for some reason. Imagine that. And Chris, you were wearing a tie because you had an interview at the brewery, if you can believe it. <laughs> well, that is one crazy dream. That's not even the crazy part. Brian, I asked you to drive him, but you kept saying your car was in Nevada. Wow, that is nuts. Stewie! <laughs> ah, screw it. <laughs> Phew. Oh, thank God. <laughs> this is still better. <laughs> s s still better. Still so much better. Hey, you looking for that kid? Grab those keys and come in here and I'll tell you where she is. Ha! Nice try. I see that other wolf hiding behind the rock. Come on. Hey, you like scotch? I got a 21-year Macallan in here. Let's have a drink. How does a wolf get a 21-year Macallan? It was a gift from a friend. Pretty good friend. Hey, what do you do? I'm a writer. Wait a minute, what's your name? Brian Griffin. Brian Griffin? I knew I recognized you. I read your book. You read Faster Than the Speed of Love? I sure did, and thanks for saying the title. Well, maybe I will come in for a Macallan. He didn't read my book. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? It's so freaking good. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. I was sitting in the kitchen one day, and I was itching to fill up my belly with the piping hot jelly of the best damn treat in the world. He's talking Pop-Tarts. And I saw a stick of butter, and it almost made me shudder and scream like a baby girl. I don't want a giant penis or a rocket trip to Venus. I don't want to win the lottery. I just want to squat and gobble till I'm dizzy and I wobble in a butterfruit and Joe Todd dream. So I put butter on a Pop-Tart. It was so freaking good. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. Everybody, come along with us. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? It's so freaking good. Yeah. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. With butter? Oh my god, Rupert, this is such a thrill. Look at me, I'm driving. I'm driving a real car. I don't believe it. Well, I'd say we need to put on some tunes. Hey, welcome back to Weenie and the Butt on 97.1. 97.1. Ooh, Weenie in the Butt, just like the grown-ups listen to. And that was Baby by Justin Bieber featuring Ludacris, which means it's time to give away some Justin Bieber tickets. Oh, that's right, Butt. Our fifth caller will ween those tickets. Hey, you know what, Rupert? You know what I should do just, like, as a goof? I, I should try to win those Justin Bieber tickets just so I can, like, tear them up or use them to go to the concert. Oh, it's ringing, Rupert. It's ringing. Oh, I'm too nervous. They're celebrities. You talk to them. Oh, God. Oh, my God, I'm in so much trouble. Congratulations, you're caller number five. You're going to see Justin Bieber. Oh, sweet Jesus. Yes, Jesse, I won. Never say never.
Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Brian's going to be so mad at me. What am I going to do? OK, it's all right. I'll just get a little bit of paint and cover up the dents. Unattractive women do it all the time. You look pretty today, Carol. Thanks. It's probably just the dress and the makeup. Oh, uh, now that I look closer, yeah, I think that's what it is, too. Hey! Please forgive me, Mr. Oinkbaum. You will be missed. There we are. What are you doing? None of your beeswax, Ramona. But if you must know, I need a plane ticket to San Francisco. <laughs> Good luck. Plane tickets are about 450 bucks. 400? Brian, hit me in the mouth. What? Why? I hear this tooth fairy gives you money for your teeth. Have at it. Uh, okay. No, no, don't, don't, don't. Stop, stop. Why did you stop? I said hit me. You flinched. Well, of course I flinched. You were going to hit me. Well, make up your mind. What do you want me to do? Hit me. No, ah, no, don't, don't, don't. <sighs> I'm sorry. Look, I know I'm being hard to read. <laughs> You there! Buy this yellow drink! Hey, Prego! Prego! Hey! Hey! I'm talking to you, Tubby! Oh, don't you ignore me! Oh, Ooh. That's all, folks. Pardon me, sir! 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 What the hell with this? Ah! 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 So, we had to do it the hard way, hmm? Six bucks! Nice looking wife you've got. Maybe I'll look her up while you're in the hospital. Don't forget your lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> 